he said, no, everyone is born to be creative. I would say that each one of you has a different story to tell. It's different because your fingerprints are all different. Your, your life is different from any other life that's ever been lived. And I think Boyce used to say that the main thing is for a human being to recognize the mystery of themselves and to be able to express it. He became the most highly rated, and we're now talking market terms, artist in the world. Andy Warhol was number two, Robert Reichenberg was number three, and Boyce remained, if you like, at the top of that totem pole uh, right to his death in 1986, and Andy Warhol died the year later. This hillside was once part of the famous Caledonian forest mm. with the most beautiful trees and therefore the only trees you should plant here are the trees indigenous to Scotland. And so he, that's what he made up his mind round about this time that he had to plant 7,000 oaks. And I'm going to ask all of you to identify this idea that he has with this building. I notice there are many trees all around, but how many oak trees are there? Because he says if you've got an oak tree, you've got the king of the forest. And he was very interested, for example, in the very basic um, meals that the common people loved. And when he was in Scotland, he insisted that uh, we, we should try something called fish and chips. <laughs> but he refused to eat fish and chips in any, or, or a plate. He said, I prefer to, to eat them the way I see the ordinary people eating them. Uh, the, 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 the eating them from newspapers. They had to, that's how they're wrapped in newspapers. And so he insisted that they would have a different taste, a different quality, uh, if, if you're eating them from a newspaper. When he went to bed at night, he was a very poor sleeper. He was an insomniac. He almost never went to bed without something like 16 books just to be rifling through. He was constantly absorbing, constantly. Education for him never ceased. He, um, he suddenly said, sorry, Richard, I have to go now. I, at least were his words, I have to go now. And the last words I heard from him, because this more or less suggests it was not a partnership. Something was going on between us. Something that I can't express, which brings me to tears. He said, Richard, I love you. My reply were the last words I ever spoke to him, which were, Joseph, I love you. <laughs>